the men from Bangalore taking on Punjab in match number 48 from Sharjah. That's going to be critical. That's the pitch that they've tried to fix. Hasn't quite get fixed, uh, got fixed yet, Joy. So for for a side that likes to maybe put big totals on the board and assert themselves, it may not be that easy a task for them to say, OK, this is what we need to do to win and win well, Bangalore. I agree with you. I agree with you. This is not the kind of surface that Bangalore ever looks at and is happy about. Not the kind of free-stroking batsmen they have. But they have one plus point out here. They've seen Chennai stumble. And that means that suddenly their opportunities for sneaking into the top two have increased. So they've just seen a little window of opportunity. It's still, I think, it's still Delhi's and Chennai's to lose. But I think Bangalore is seeing it and say, if we win our two, maybe the, one of those guys will stumble and we have a chance. So I think that's one thing that will really power them because every one of the teams who have qualified wants to be among the top two. The second thing I think is that uh, I think they're finally getting that side that playing that Maxwell between Kohli and De Villiers is working for them. I think Shabazz Ahmed is giving them something. So if Shabazz Ahmed now has proven to be that player that they need out there, then I think their team is looking much, much better. Because, you know, it, the balance of this side, I really enjoy it. George Garton didn't give them much in the first match, but uh, I think he's a better bowler than he's given. This is a good team. This is a more balanced team than they've played in the past. Sean, I'm going to come to you just about that spot since Joy has already mentioned it. Uh, George Garton was good, but if you're coming to a Sharjah-type surface, do you then say one Indu Hasaranga? Yeah, I definitely think so. I think you've you got to look at the surface and say to yourself, okay, who could be a match winner for us? Um, you know, it's one thing just looking for a little contribution, but who could be a match winner? And for me, it's a no-brainer. When it comes to what we've seen from that pitch so far, I think they've given themselves a little bit more balance with Bharat. Uh, I think that was been a good inclusion for them. Um, so, I, it, it wouldn't even take a discussion with me. I, I know there's probably three or four of them have to make the call. But uh, you've definitely got my vote. Fair enough. Uh, and that's and the other thing, I mean, like we saw with Suresh Raina today, um, who's not been informed, they tried maybe number three. A.B. De Villiers, I'm not, I mean, it's working well. Maxwell's working well. They figured on Srikar Bharat is your number three. But is there a, is there a case for A.B. De Villiers getting a few more balls if they can give it to him? Well, I, I'm not sure this is the kind of surface that you try that kind of stuff on. A, that. B is that I think you pack your batting as much as possible, hope that the guys up front get runs for you because the more the time will... The only point in favour of that is the fact that, uh, you know, I'd still say Maxwell will go ahead of him because he's the man. He's really the man in form more than any of the others. But the only other reason for playing A.B. De Villiers up front is because this surface, you want to play your better batsman when the ball is still hard. And, you know, this is going to deteriorate very fast. But... This is a far more settled because of that Shabazz Ahmed and the Dan Christian move. Again, Dan Christian will bowl well on this surface as well. Because of these two moves, I think they've extended because of both all-rounders. I think they've extended in both directions. They can now afford to play Hasaranga because Dan Christian will bowl just as well or badly as uh, somebody else who's a specialist bowler in this pitch. And I think you've got a little bit more. Virat will have a little bit more to play with. So, I think their team is set. Uh, Hasaranga for Garten, perhaps. Uh, I mean, otherwise, I don't see it being changed. Sean, you're happy with uh, the rest of the side as they are? Uh, despite the change in surface, don't tinker with the batting order. Just keep pretty much horses for courses, which is your Hasaranga. Yeah, I, I like the top five. Uh, even with the Villiers coming there, I think it's really good. Uh, and, you know, often on this kind of surface, it's be those five that will dictate terms. Uh, you know, if you're starting to rely on someone a little bit lower than that, um, I don't think it's going to do. And, and Hasaranga gives you a fantastic option with the ball, doesn't he? I mean, he's a match winner, as I said. Um, it's a no-brainer for me. I think Punjab do come into this game maybe with a slight advantage from having played. I think their last game was on at Sharjah, wasn't it? And they defended that, that total. So, I think having had a bit more cricket on that surface, they do come in with a slight advantage. But obviously, a lot of pressure on their shoulders. If, if uh, Bangalore lose it, it's not the end of the world. I mean, they want to win it and they want to try and get in the top two. But if Punjab lose it, it's basically the end of their tournament. So, um, so I think that's the only thing playing in there against them. Well, critical for them. That's what Rajasthan needed. That's what Rajasthan did. Though Punjab's last game was in Dubai. But having said mm. that, one more... We've been talking about all these PTP and PPT 11s. There's one more 11 that's starting to develop. And that's where have you been all this time 11? 
and we saw <laughs> we saw Shivam Dubey. We need to give it a good name. We'll think of a good name for it. But Shivam Dubey is one of them who's uh, got into it. Shah Rukh Khan definitely gets into that eleven, and teams are starting to realize that hello, we've actually got several people in the squad. Let's get them in there. So let's put in the Punjab squad. Shah Rukh Khan definitely doesn't go anywhere for now. Any other changes, Sean? Do you see from their last performance? Um, Nathan Ellis does no. he stay in there? Yeah, I think he did a good job. Little time that I played there, um, didn't he? Be bowled a, a good last over, so I don't know. Maybe they'll consider going him. Jordan with his experience, I liked him bringing Vishnu back in. Uh, I think that was a, a big call. Uh, Rashid Khan, uh, I mean not Rashid Khan, Adil Rashid. What am I saying? Maybe that might be the option. It depends on what that surface looks like. If, as much as we, we're talking about Hasaranga as a, as a match winning option, you would think if the surface is going to turn that Adil Rashid could be that option that they may be turned to in place of Ellis. But um, yeah, it's at this stage, you don't even think you're in too much. You, I mean, I, I suppose it's, it's ironic saying that after um, you've got Rajasthan who've won with five changes. But I think the teams who've got sort of a, a bit of balance to try and not mess around with that is important. Yeah, I mean, would would a team, would other teams, Joy, look at that exactly as Sean said? Would they look at Rajasthan and say, okay, if they can do it, should we now start looking at our bench? The five guys who sat at the hotel because you can only take X number of players to the ground. <laughs> should we try and see who's in a hotel and can actually play? I think Punjab by winning last time, they've proven that they've got some things right. Two changes I'd look at. One is definitely Chris Jordan or. I don't mind Adil Rashid also in in replacing Nathan Ellis. Definitely, Sharjah is not the kind of ground that Nathan Ellis and Nathan Ellis would have never seen a ground like Sharjah really too, too much at all. I'd definitely go with someone like Jordan Ellis. The other change I'd look at is turning around and saying, Deepak Kuda, if he's not giving me that much and he's not been giving them that much, can I go and get Harpreet Bhatt? Because Harpreet Bhatt gives you a little bit more with the ball, I believe, than Deepak Kuda does. And he can bat a bit as well, he can whack it. I think he's also he's you know if you see what's been happening in this tournament, gutsy players have been given their place. You know they've gone for it. They're not scared. They're not going to back down. I like Harpreet Bhatt and what he brings to this team. I'd like to see Harpreet Bhatt instead of Deepak Kuda there. Well, he has been man of the match, uh, Harpreet Bhatt. So let's not ignore uh, him. Quick one on the spot. One from each of you. Player to watch out for in that Bangalore versus Punjab game. Sean, one for you. I'm going to go from left, right, any field you want to. I think it's a De Villiers time. I think he hasn't produced anything really since he's come back and I think he'll be itching. Those class of players sit in the dress, in the hotel room and in the dress room thinking, come on, it's my time. I've got to actually put on a bit of a show here. And he's overdue. So I reckon that's the one to watch out tomorrow. The other ones have all got going. Maxwell's playing well. Uh, I think De Villiers is, is about around the corner with his time to shine. Joy? I'm going to go with KL Rahul. I'm just going to go with KL Rahul. I think, I mean, at some point in time, he's got to show us exactly how class a player he is. And he's shown us glimpses, but he's looked as if he's weighed down by responsibility. I want to see a free scoring Rahul. And let's see. I hope he can this time.